There is a force older than mathematics, older than written language, older than civilization itself, a force ancient cultures believed could shape matter, heal the human body, even open paths to higher knowledge. They called it the architecture of sound. And today, physics is starting to confirm what they seem to already know. Across the ancient world, massive temples were built with acoustic precision so perfect that a single whisper could echo like a chorus. At Chavin de Huantar, underground passages vibrated at frequencies that altered human perception. In the pyramids, the king's chamber resonates exactly at 440 hertz, a frequency known to influence the human nervous system. Ancient builders weren't just architects, they were sound engineers. But how? Modern experiments show that when sound passes through matter, it forms shapes. Geometric patterns, known as cymatics, circles, spirals, hexagons, the same shapes found on dot ancient temples, pottery, manuscripts. It's almost as if ancient civilizations carved the patterns of sound into stone, as if they believed sound was the blueprint of reality. Maybe they were right. Some ancient texts describe tones that unlock memory. Others speak of frequencies that open the mind. In Sumerian tablets, sound was described as the breath of creation. In Vedic writings, the universe begins with a single vibration. And now modern physics has discovered something eerie. Particles behave differently depending on the frequencies around them. Matter listens. Today, scientists experiment with sound-based healing, sound-based levitation, even sound-based memory restoration. It seems the ancients knew something we forgot. Sound shapes reality, sound shapes us, and maybe sound once connected humanity to a knowledge we've lost. The question now is simple. Are we ready to hear it again?